About three million people a year, all in marital crisis, contact me in some form or another seeking help to save their marriage. Do you know how many of these people expected to be dealing with a broken marriage? None. Everyone thinks their marriage is fine, until it isn't. Every day I hear, we were just living life, working, taking care of the kids, doing our thing. Everyone thought we were the perfect couple. And then, bang, someone goes off the rails. One spouse starts acting strange. They become distant, they're not themselves, they're not home as much. There's a secret life going on, at least in thought, if not in action too. Finally, it goes well beyond subtle signs. You hear, I love you, but I'm not in love with you. I'm not happy and haven't been for years. I can't go on like this. Or you discover indisputable evidence. Beyond the words are plans to move out, hundreds of texts to a new phone number or a new wardrobe signaling a new life ahead. If you're in this situation, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you're not, you can't imagine it. But that's my point. The three million people who will contact me this year couldn't imagine it either. Now they would do anything to save their marriage. There are millions of people out there neglecting their spouse, speaking harshly, or running their home like the military, oblivious to the fact that their spouse is done and their marriage is dying a death by a thousand cuts. For those that are unaware, I wish I could help them, tell them what they're in for, and save them from the emotional devastation they're about to experience. But that continues to be my wish, because no one listens until their life is in ruin. But you are listening, so I want to suggest two things. First, Join me for the next Marriage Fitness Teleboot Camp. The path from ruin to reconciliation is difficult, but it's possible no matter the circumstances. Showing people that path and nurturing them through the difficulty is what I do. Second, let's work together to put me out of business. Really. I wish husbands and wives across the world were wise in marriage, deliberate with their choices and words, and educated about what fosters well-being in a relationship. Share this video with someone you love, someone who you might inspire to take action to change things in their marriage now, before they're in crisis. Social media is one of the contributing factors to bad marriages. Maybe today we can use it to make marriages better.